Yes, sir. It's your man, Mikel Bird, MacTown TV, MacTown Radio, the dopest show in every dimension. And today we're going to talk about how women are, well, they have double standards for men, especially when it comes to sex. And uh, I'm going to be discussing some things that I saw online today on Twitter from this chick. She's a black chick in law who lives in Las Vegas. She's a stripper in Las Vegas. She's a prostitute in Las Vegas. And I'm going to discuss some of the things that she said and what my response was to those things. I'm not going to give away any names, but here we go. Um, so this chick was on Twitter, right? And let me be clear. Number one, she's a stripper. Number two, she's a prostitute. Number three, She has an OnlyFans that she wants men to subscribe to. And number four, most importantly, she appears to be a lesbian who's not really interested in men. I don't think I've ever seen her in a video with a man, if I'm being totally honest with you. I've seen her in videos with probably ten other females. And if I'm not mistaken, if I'm making an educated guess here, those females are fellow females who work with her at the strip club all right now this woman was on twitter today and she posted an audio clip where she was saying that she doesn't understand why guys won't subscribe to her only fans when it's thirty dollars and then even when she lowers the price when it's three dollars they still don't subscribe Like she was saying, guys complain about the price being too high, they don't subscribe. But then when I lower the price, they still don't subscribe. What's the deal? So I I was so like (laughs) weirded out by this that I decided to go ahead and drop a comment and tell her the truth from a man. And I said, there's three reasons, and hopefully I'll remember them. There's three reasons why men will not subscribe to your OnlyFans. And I said, number one... We see you. We're not stupid. We see what you're posting online. You're posting pictures of your pictures and videos of yourself masturbating on camera. You're posting pictures and videos of yourself working at the strip club. And more importantly, you're posting pictures and videos of yourself having sex with your female friends, right? Now, this is why it matters. And this uh this is part 1 of 3 if I can remember. If you're going to have sex with your female friends for free, let me ask you a question. Did your female friends pay you for that sexual experience that you just had with them? Did your female friends pay you to subscribe to your OnlyFans? The answer is always no. So why is it that you want men to pay just to look at you? It's, It's not like the men are having sex with you. Because a man could send you thousands of dollars and you would never have a sexual experience with him, especially on camera. Okay, that's part one. So there's a double standard there that we can already see. The way she treats her female friends, which she's having lesbian encounters with, and the way she treats men. She treats men like they're nothing more than simps. They're nothing more than walking, talking ATMs. And they better subscribe to her OnlyFans because if they don't, Little mama's going to get on Twitter and bitch about it, which is exactly what she did. Now, part two is 90% of these women, they have boyfriends. They have men that technically should be taking care of them financially, making sure they're okay. And yet these women are still whores. You know, these women are still prostituting themselves over the Internet. Whether they're having sex with the guys or not, they're still using their beauty and their sexuality to make money off of simps. So the question then becomes, why should we subscribe to your OnlyFans once again? If you have a boyfriend, shouldn't he be taking care of you financially? Not us. Not the men who you desperately want to subscribe to your OnlyFans. It's not our job to fucking save you, you dumb, you dumb cum dumpster. (laughs) You know what I mean? And then three is, I told her, look, a guy like me, in order for you to get my money, you would literally have to have sex with me, and it would have to be on camera. Why? Because look, once again, look at what you've already done. You've already had sex with your homegirls on camera. This 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 specific chick in Las Vegas, this whore, this cum dumpster, she has definitely, from what I've seen, she's definitely had sex with at least 10 other women on camera. None of them ever paid her for it. So why should we pay? 
And what exactly are we paying for? We're paying for pictures and videos? I don't think so. I've never, ever paid for a girl's OnlyFans. I never will pay for a girl's OnlyFans. I, we don't even call it OnlyFans. The guys I know, we call it Only Scams. Because it's like, why? It's 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 simping 101. It's the ultra simp level 10,000. You're a simpanzee if you pay for this shit, these OnlyFans accounts. Um, or mini vids, or anything. If you pay for porn at all, you're pretty much a simp because there's terabytes and terabytes of fucking free porn. There's a never ending stream of free porn on the internet. So it's like, why the fuck would you pay for porn? It's like, even if you had the hots for one specific chick, even so, all you're doing is feeding her ego and encouraging. Number one, you're feeding her ego. Number two, you're supporting her drug habit. And number three, you're supporting her alcoholism. Number four, she's never, ever going to have sex with you. This is something I try to tell men all the time. She's never, ever going to have sex with you, no matter how much money you send her, no matter how nice to you are, you are to her. Look, dude, this specific chick, she's a fucking lesbian. It's pretty clear. Never seen her in a video with a man. And even if we did see her in a video with a man, we know that that's a prostitution situation. That that guy definitely somehow some way paid for the pussy. You get what I'm saying? And I and I'm straight up with these girls about this shit. I said, you know, you're begging for men to join your OnlyFans. Number one, that makes you look pathetic, right? Number two, the a guy like me, the only way in the world that you're gonna get money out of me is if number one, you have to have sex with me. Number two, you it has to be on camera. Like I said, why? Because you already did shit on camera. With your female friends, you already did shit on camera. With your boyfriend, you already did shit on camera. With these random tricks you met off of Tinder or ever, however the fuck you met them. Met them at a bar, met them at a strip club, met them on Tinder, met them on Bundle, Bumble. However the fuck you met them, they paid for the pussy. So, my theory is this. This is actually a problem I've had with women for, for damn, since I was like 18. I'm like, I don't like being treated differently. So if I – and the fact that women are putting this shit on the internet for everyone to see, this allows us to create a – well, not create ourselves, but what we do is we observe their behavioral patterns. We observe what they're doing on the internet, what they're posting on the internet, and it is a direct map to their character and what they're capable of. So the point is this. If I see you having sex with people on camera and you're posting these videos and pictures to the internet – then you bet your ass I want the exact same treatment. You better blow me the fuck up on your profile the same way you blew up your female friends, your fellow fucking cohorts, your fellow cum dumpsters at the strip club, these dumb whores who come over to your house and, you know, they're y'all are playing with each other's titties and shit, y'all are making out with each other, you're eating each other's pussy on camera. You got to do that same type of shit with me. I won't accept you any other way and it's as simple as that a bitch can't get a dollar out of me plenty of rappers have said that once upon a time and that rings true especially for me that rings true today a bitch can't get a dollar out of me unless she what fucks the shit out of me and two does it on camera and that's that people mikhail bird mac town tv mac town radio the dopest show in every dimension, and I'm out. Peace!